Yeah, no, that was a, it was a, a weird, odd week for me, but it was also going to be another weird, odd, probably upcoming season for the Major League Baseball because of new rule changes could possibly be implemented into into the game and into America's pastime in Major League Baseball. But before that, congratulations to the Trastros, the Houston Trastros. Yes, I call them Trastros because of their cheating scandal of three years ago, but now they... Uh, they're back in the World Series. They they beat the Boston Red Sox last night. I believe it was like six to nothing. I stopped watching after Kyle Tucker's uh, three run shot home run, and it was just a uh, yeah. No, um, uh, I I I absolutely hope. I don't want the Dodgers to make it there, but I want the Braves to make it there, and I want the Braves to win the World Series. That's just how everything's going to shape up now. I had the White Sox and Cardinals there, but that was long gone. It's just, I actually sketched all of that, shaking that away and putting it into my memory bank of what I used to, what I what I thought and hoped for. Couldn't get it, so it's. I'm hoping whoever the National League team is, I hope they beat the Astros in the World Series. But in Major League Baseball, we're seeing some implements of new possibilities. Heck, with even uh, this upcoming season, the 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 Universal DH will possibly be there for for years to come. Uh, but there's uh, there's tests out there right now that they want to start in the minor leagues to one have robot umpires, which. Boston Red Sox could have used those in this series. They, they, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just laughing because of how many terrible bad calls that happened on game. I think it was four in Boston when they could have gotten out of the inning to be up by, I think one, but they ended up blowing a a one run lead and they were down by I think eight after it because of a, a could have been a strike three call was still in the strike zone. It brought back in. I think it was a curveball that actually came over to one of the lefties. It actually backdoored him. It should have been a a strike three, but the umpire called it a ball, and everything went downhill from that. So Robert umpires is also a possibility for this upcoming season for the minor leagues. Larger bases and stealing first base. Um, Yeah, stealing first base, when I say that, I actually physically had... I love baseball. Baseball is my main sport. I had to physically look up what do they mean by stealing first base. And I think I have it for you. But let's go back to robot umpires. If there is a true, genuine strike zone in Major League Baseball, which, I mean, it it varies for height, then they... This should be a good thing, I believe. Because there will be no... There will never be no more arguing for balls or strikes. But what I'm curious about the robot umpire strike zone is how quick the home plate umpire will get the... Because I'm assuming there's going to be a still a home plate umpire. It's not like we're going to... Um, uh, cause that when we watch baseball games on TV, we see that imaginary box that, that indicates what the strike zone should be and what it looks like. and if, So it's like more visual appealing to the viewer watching it on TV. I'm just curious of how quick the the response time is going to be for when the ball gets there and the umpire's like, okay, that's a ball. That's a strike. That's a ball. That's a strike. Or they should at least have it to where we have with replay now, which replay right now is just ridiculously it's inconsistent as you know what in Major League Baseball. So what I'm curious for, whether if the umpire is going to make the strike call judgment himself or whether if it's going to be he says it's a strike, but it's truly a ball, and that he can reverse that call right there on the fly. But that would look so awkward. It's like it, that might be as awkward as the players that getting checked by the umpires for the sticky stuff midseason this year when you know when Max Scherzer blew up and said, I ain't got nothing, or when they're like all pumped up and amped up and then uh, heading into the after a big strikeout and heading into the dugout and then immediately being approached by an umpire to lose and then. After that, your pumped upness goes away because it's like, okay, I have to take off my belt, got to show him that, got to show him my hat, got to give give him my gloves so he can look at that. There's just, it's just going to be so odd and awkward for when this actually happens, which is good. They're going to pra- practice this, try this out in the the lower levels of the minor leagues to say, okay, yeah, we're going to try this. So once they're going to fine tune it, then work it, bring it all the way up through the minor league system, I believe. Then uh, by at some point, which I'm going to say. Within the next year or two, we, we, we might have a robot umpire. We, we might. And when I say robot umpire, it's not like there's going to be uh, Bender from uh, Futurama is going to be out there calling the strike zone. No, it's going to be like a, like the umpire is there. He's going to have like probably a little earpiece in and say, and like the person upstairs or from New York or however the hell they're going to do it. Be like, yeah, that's a ball. That's a strike. Which, honestly, if it's New York going to be dictating whether it's going to be a ball or strike on the robot umpire, I'm going to say I'm done because New York screws up on so many 
re- reviewable plays, which is absolutely ridiculous how often they can, which it's not how often they do it because they play through so, like 162 games, divide that by, or multiply that by 32 teams. That's as many number of games that the, the team out in New York, the reviewable team, always goes through a single season or every single year. So I get it. There might be some that, you know, you have to brush under the rug because you, you mess up maybe 10 times one week, three times the next week, maybe 15 the week after that. There's none that week that you don't mess up on. There's always going to be some human error and element to all of this. That's why the robot umpires works because there's no human error or element to this at all. But if it's a, a New York guy going to be judging this strike zone or not, you better have at least two people looking at it, all eyes on deck for that so they can at least have it go quick, fast, do whatever because people are, I'm guessing, losing interest in the game. And heck, even with a an umpire that, let's just go back to that Boston Red Sox game on Game 5 of the uh, um, American League Championship Series where that ball should have been called a strike, but yet the inning extended for 30 more minutes, which means the game kept on, you know, had to be prolonged, which honestly, prolonging games, especially in the postseason, which I'm getting tired, absolutely tired of people saying baseball is way too long, especially in this postseason. I get it. The games were long for the the Astros-White Sox series. I get it. The games were long for the Astros-Red Sox series and the championship series. I get it. But here's the thing. There's only one game being played. All eyes are on that. I could see how people be like, "Oh yeah, this is taking way too long. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting really, I'm really getting sick and tired of this." Change the channel because if you're already complaining about how long the game is, you are definitely not a baseball fan. Because if you're at that game and you're watching what is being played on the field, you do not want the game to end, especially for how much money you spend for that ticket. If I'm getting a a championship series ticket or going to get a World Series ticket. I want the game to go into extras because, heck, in Major League Baseball, we had the extra inning rules regular season, and then when it comes to the postseason, there's going to be no ghost runner on second base, which is like, thank the Lord. Like, I enjoyed it regular season, but when it goes to postseason, make sure you take it away, which they do and which they've done. Because if a game goes for three hours longer than it's supposed to, I'm okay with it. I absolutely am okay with it because I love the sport. So I'm getting tired of people saying, oh, the games are way too long. So this is why the, this is why these rules are coming, because they're trying to speed up the game. They're going to say larger bases now. Larger bases. What good can come from larger bases? More stolen bases. That, that's Having a larger base gives you an, an extra advantage of getting your hand in there or your foot in there to get to the base. Okay, I get it. Players probably won't be thrown out often. They can probably beat off the throw to um, first base a lot, but it's a drop third strike. Is home plate going to be bigger? If home plate's bigger, is that going to expand the strike zone? Because you have more north to, no east to west on the plate now because if the, the plate's going to get bigger, you've got to expect it to get larger in all of the diameter of the home plate so the strike zone's going to get bigger, so that's going to mess up the robot umpires. And larger bases can cause injury. It can. We can already see now that the bases already do cause injury because of how you slide into it. But if a player is trying to get adapted from a which I, I get it. It's, it's just being all tic-tac-y and, uh, and anal about it. But if the bases is three inches thicker and larger in diameter and roundness, that three inches, that, that affects a lot of things. That, that affects when you should or should not slide, your timing on that. And also your timing, if you do slide, do you want to go in head first or feet first? Because personally for me, I always went feet first when I would always slide into a bag because, I mean, I feel like it's safer. But there's going to be a lot of probably hurt wrist, a lot of hurt ankles. Because like we even saw at the final week of the regular season between the White Sox and and Tigers where Jose Abreu slid into second base extremely hard and then also called as the, caused a little scruffle out there at second base. They're gonna be, people like to, players like to break up the double play attempts or when they steal, they like to go in hard. And I mean, granted, they had rules now against that to where like don't go in as hard to second base or try to break up a double play, which... You should always still do because it's still a baseball play. You it, People are going to hurt themselves because the bases are going to be larger. That's how I firmly think of when larger bases, if it's even like a, a two inches, three inches, heck, it could be five centimeters of how they make it larger. It's still going to affect the player when rounding or trying to slide into the bag. It's going to mess things up. And 
the strike zone comparison thing that I just said, I just came with that on the fly because I didn't even think about it. Home plate is a base. It is. And even though it's called the plate, it's still a base. So are they going to make that larger as well? And then going on to the stealing first base topic. Okay, I had to look this up. Allowing the steal to first base. And this is what the definition of it, of the stealing first base. At any point when the baseball is on the ground, either a wild pitch to pass ball or if the catcher simply does not catch a ball cleanly, the batter can take off for first base. Which is interesting. Because usually when there's runner occupied on first base, you can't really take off unless it's a second strike. Um, the, the second, unless there's two outs and the, it's a drop third strike and you can run to first base that way. Which that's the only way in time that you can actually take off the first base is on a drop third strike. So are they saying now when there's a wild pitch or pass ball, we'll say on a 1-1 one, one count, the batter can just, oh, okay, the pass, pass the catcher. I'm just going to drop the bat and run to first base if I can make it that. And granted, if that's a 1-1 one, one count pass ball and you know that you're, you're a struggling hitter and you see that, I'm going to take full advantage of that. Honestly, if that's how the ceiling first base as accounted for for this upcoming review or or this upcoming rules for this, I, I'm okay with that one. Like that one's actually a good one. It's stealing first base. But then again, I'm also a batter, so I I don't see many players doing this because of the fact of people are trying to hit home runs. You get paid big bucks to hit home runs. That's it, that's it's a proven fact. You don't get as much money for stealing bases. You just don't. Look at Whit Merrifield for, May, for the Kansas City Royals. Whit is... He's a stealing base machine. He is. He will get $20 million less because he cannot put 30 home runs up a season. It, it's, it's just how it works. But if he gets you know 50 stolen bases a year, he could you know get, raise his salary up maybe $10 million because he's getting himself into scoring position. But if you're trying to steal first base, you're not in scoring position at all. You get in scoring position when you get to second base. So I I, I like it. I don't like it because we're not going to see much of it. That's why I don't like it. But the robot umpires for sure is going to be happening at some point. And then also for reviewing things, we had so many, so many so far in the postseason of, of all things have reviewable instances of you need to, I personally think, during the, was it the, the Dodgers-Braves or was it the, the Braves and Brewers? Braves and Brewers. There was a, a Luis Urias, a, a ball came off of Omar Nevias' glove, hit the, it hit the ground, but Luis Urias' glove got under it enough to where it looked like it didn't hit the ground from the, from the, the, the view eye point, but it, it did through replay. And they, the ruling on the field wasn't out, but since it was a... But since it was a in a foul territory play, they couldn't review it. They could not review the out call, but except it was called an out still. Oh, they got to they gotta figure out what they can and cannot review. They also need to review check swings because I feel still feel bad for the Giants. I mean, granted, I mean, they would have, if it was a ball, they probably would have one more pitch and Flores probably would have, one more Flores probably would have popped it up or done something with it. Or, I mean, he could have had a home run. Who knows? It was Max Scherzer pitching. Uh, which, I mean, granted, he's not going to give up a home run. But, you should be able to review a check swing if it's like on the last play of the game because Wilmer Flores in that uh, divisional series between the Dodgers and Giants, he did not swing on that check swing. And I feel completely bad and terrible for him on that, even especially when watching it live. Like I'm like, that was not a swing, and then they called it a strike, and then when they went to replay, it wasn't a strike, or it wasn't a, a, a swing all the way thoroughly, which it was like, oh, come on. Like you, you got to do better, New York. Do do better do better Major League Baseball with trying to figure out what you can and can't do when it comes to replay. You should be able to replay everything, I believe. I think you should. Well, if it's a check swing, a foul ball, or I mean, they, they review home runs all the time. They review places, things at the bag, or heck, you should be able to review in baseline plays, like whether what's what's a baseline and what's not. Heck, if there's a left-handed batter, why the heck's he all the way in the middle part of the field trying to run and break up a throw on, uh, from the plate on home, which happened during the White Sox. And Astro series, come on, you gotta, you gotta tighten up this rule book. If you want to have replay in this, which I think less replays better or more replays might be better. I don't know. I'm just a a truther when it comes to Major League Baseball because I like the, I like the sport, fair sport. Want to keep it, keep the integrity of the game alive. But I mean, you're not gonna have that with robot umpires. I'm just saying, you're not gonna have that. Uh, let's try to make some money as we come back from this. This is Sirius McCrane right here on the Bet 1660. 
Let's try to make some money. You're listening to Saturdays with Kramer on the Bet 1660.